Hey there, my fellow loot goblins, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Pacific Drive. Episode 20, Party Hall. All right, so it's anchor obfuscation. Uh, please tell me I packed my radar. I did. Cool. So this will be my new six. I think... Oh, I already have the energy needed to leave. But, yeah, it sucks to come into an anchor obfuscated zone if you don't have the Kalim to leave. And, uh, you have to go find it. Wander around forests. Like, that is deep oof. Don't ever do that to yourself. The, I mean, I don't know if the amount of fabric I have is... I don't know. We've, we've... Oh, Old Knight, you figured it out. Thanks for the bits. So, let's see. We have 20, 40... How much was the large bag? I forget. Yeah, whatever it is, I'll just keep grabbing more whenever I can. So, taking a look here... Let's go to the fuel station to the uh, northeast. Oh, uh, okay. We're getting vomited on. So F is my emitter. Got it. Oh, what was the... You know what? Before I go any further, what were the anomalies here? So, Bubblegum Buddy, an abductor, so things trying to grab me constantly. Cough box and belching particle, I'm getting belched on now, and a shaker. It has neon reefs and salamander grottos, and it has pretty decent resource density. Okay, so there's a neon reef right there, and a big one too, so that's awesome. top up my gasoline. Hopefully I don't get belched on. Uh, what was that light? What the hell? There aren't really anomalies that act as flashlights, so that, that freaked me out for a second. So I'm going to park a little bit further away from that barnacle. It's probably just one of the firefly thingies. Uh, you, Mr. Crowbar, are getting yeeted. It's basically broken. Pry bar, whatever. Whatever it is. Oh, no, not a... Okay, all right. I'm going to have to park elsewhere. I don't want to get gooped in acid. This zone is, uh... Might be unfriendly. All right, let's try parking here. Now, if you, um, I just want to demonstrate something real quick. If you, uh, find it hard to see the resources that you're looking for, you could turn on high visibility loot and it will highlight the resources that like end up falling on the ground. So I'll just demonstrate that. I'll pull some and let them fall. 
I would not be able to see those swamp coral in the water, like, at all. So if that is a, if that's a problem that you're facing, you can always just turn on high visible loot. The only thing I don't like high visible loot for is, um, um, the outlines and shadows can be a little distracting at times, uh, because you'll see them through, like, walls and everything. So when you're running around and driving around, you see, like, a lot of random loot spots that you don't necessarily have access to. There's a little more. And revving up your thermal bag, I find, will reveal coral to you. Like, if you're... Because it, it, it's kind of invisible if you don't do that. That was a good coral run. Also, uh, just happened to park next to a, uh, squire. I had no idea. Uh, this panel was, um... This door might have thermoset crystals. In this panel. Nice. So, 80, 141, um, swamp coral. Get my munch on. The belching barnacles is really annoying. It's making it very hard to like. Oh, I just popped a tire. I'll fix it. Uh, oh, there's a grotto next to this barnacle. Maybe I can try to hide behind this tree and get to that grotto. So what did I do? Pop. Yep. I'll just make a replacement ceiling kit now. We got an abductor there. I'm just looking around to see if I can't spot any other resources without having to do active scans. Don't touch me. No. Stop it. Keep your tendrils to yourself. Oh, there's a uh, box truck up that way. I can double back for that. Do you repeat it? So, all your car parts will have sort of like a hidden total durability associated. And once they get damaged enough, or you've used them long enough, they get worn out. Tires can get worn out. Every part can get worn out, for the most part. Or just about every part. And once it's worn out, it uh, it is virtually worthless to you at that point. Because it will constantly break and, and have problems. So, um... So, yeah. Uh... Keeping the amount of damage that you suffer to a minimum uh, does make it cheaper to run your car in the long run. So, like, constantly getting wrecked by everything 
it's just gonna raise cost. I found this spare repair putty, and repair putty's a pretty efficient tool to repair equipment. So I'll use it. Oh wait, what am I doing? I don't mean to be putting in there. There we go. There's a squire up that way. I think that's the grotto I just hit. And that's definitely a swamp crawl I just hit. So I'm going to keep driving around the swamps looking for coral and uh, grottos. That's a pretty cursed looking gas station right there. And it's getting vomited on. So there's an Arta truck that way, and an Arta truck that way. Two Arta trucks. Nice. Let's go check them out. I'm also gonna wanna get a little gasoline, because my tanks are very low. I think this, this zone has what, evaporative gasoline or something? Yeah, fuel evaporation, and yeah, boy, I am feeling it. Cause my tanks are just is disappearing, as you can see. I haven't driven very much, and my fuel's just gone. This is the the, the that alone is not like a a terrible modifier by itself. What would make it ter more terrible is if it was like if the zone had something like um, acid evaporates gasoline as well. So if you get hit by acid, it ruins your gas, plus your gas is constantly being drained. It's it's doubled modifiers like that that make certain zones just like, just so painful. It's one Arta truck. Also should try to find wherever that unstable energy is. I do have the radar for it. Oh, why is there a belt? Man, there are so many belchers here. This zone is horrible. No, it's not horrible, but it's a nuisance. No, stop it, stop it. Stop touching me! So I jumped back in real quick to use my limb emitter. Tell this dude to shove off. Oh, that's better condition than mine. Spare tires and steel sheets. Zarda trucks have been nice. There's a squire there. Oh, there's a pneumatic tube over in the horizon. Maybe I'll get some lab notes. Nope. No, no, don't, no, stop it. Stop it. Well, that doesn't help. Ah! Go fetch. Where is this anchor? I don't know. I don't believe I have any bad doors or anything like that. 
None to my knowledge. But if that's the case, I'll fix it once I get back home. Nope. All these doors. The rear door looks a little damaged. Uh, this headlight did get worn out. And I think that happened this run. So there's a grotto behind this belcher. I'm not seeing any other reefs though. Forgot to turn my headlights off. That was a pretty lame grotto. Let's see if I can't spot the um, the anchor. I think there's only one. Oh, it's that way. So it's kind of straight ahead. So it's somewhere, I'll mark it down, somewhere this direction. I'll do one more, I'll do, I'll complete the lap around the, the Myers here, trying to get as many, as, as much of the resources as possible. So another micro grotto to our left. How's my fuel? Uh, two thirds. And a tiny reef over here as well. There's a third or second grotto uh, across the waterway though. But again, only like with one car. So if you're wondering, the, the resource density bar, this one, um, the one here, let me hide the overlay, that says, okay, the bottom, the bottom right bar there, the higher that is, the more of these cars in these grotto areas would have salamander eggs or marsh eggs. Because I, I do get asked about that uh, in YouTube comments and the like, and it's like, yeah, I mean, there's definitely, it's definitely worth going to high yield zones if you can, because they're way more likely to have, um, you know, the strategic resources that you're missing than just like going to any old zone that you can get to. If you plan intelligently, you, you get a lot more, more bang for your buck. So, oh, I see, I see it. It's right there. The, um, the unstable anchor. Wasn't there a neon reef, like, right here? What the hell? Oh, there's two neon reefs. Good. Three of them, actually. Good, good, good. So the unstable anchor was... Yeah, I'll find it later. I'm not in any rush. This zone is not violent enough that I feel the need to, like, run home. Just get as much of this lovely resource as I can. Does the fuel evaporation... Yeah, the fuel evaporation is all the time. Whether the car's running or not, it's evaporating. There's a localized storm coming. So I'll mark down the... It's like here, maybe? Uh, it's sort of. It's close enough, I can see it. So we've got a marsh. There's a grotto. I'll park between the grotto and the reef. And hope that this abductor doesn't abduct me.
Go away. I don't really need the resource radar anymore. Because I know where the... I know where the, uh, the anchor is. These fuel tanks are very empty. I'm gonna put this away. After I have some snacks. Oh, what a stubby little reef. <laughs> well, nice. I got a uh, 10 coral. <laughs> For a lot of the recipes, you need like 400. So, yeah, that was underwhelming. Just beyond, so there's a grotto, 200 meters that way, and then another coral, or a coral reef, coral reef. So there's a lot of coral reefs around. I'm just gonna try to max everything out. Oh, just popped a tire. Or something. It popped it. Oh, we got the storm coming in, so it's time for me to move on. It's, um, it's not urgent, I don't think. The stability of this zone wasn't, like, collapse immediately. Yeah, it's okay. I do see that the, um, the low fuel meter for this zone... Uh, is holding to be true. Most of these cars do not have fuel. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the anchor here. I hope I got enough swamp coral and marsh eggs. I probably didn't, but you know, there's always another run. Cause you can see there's just a lot of BS happening around me. I just wanna get gone with the, uh... oh, cool. Thanks, Shaker. No, oh, and I'm getting vomited on. Uh, that door I never closed. It's okay. Front bumper just got broken in some way. It is disabled and needs an electrician's kit. Oh, I only have two electrician's kits. It's definitely going to need to craft a new one when I get home. All right, let's activate the gateway. Bye, Myers. You were actually fairly generous. Oh, shoot. With the, uh, with the resources? Oh, you know what? Let's do it. Here comes the, uh, first, uh, radiation wave. My fuel tank is like, uh, a sixth or an eighth. Almost out of fuel. 
But not a lot of damage to the car, a lot of resources, so that, that was pretty good. Um, research. Pulls up. What do we focus on? Garage stuff, tools, car, it's up to you. Huh, you made it. Color me surprised. And then one of the advantages of um, having the pneumatic locker here is emptying just is really easy. The th the I will make an exception, which is to say that uh, make sure not to put your um, dumpster pearls in because uh, because of the way the locker works with like everything super nested. If you put dumpster pearls in here, you might not know it because of how long the list is. I'm trying to like go through the list carefully to figure out like oh are there dumpster pearls in this list? Like it's very easy to miss. Cheers. We got some decals, some paint, a lot of metal stuff. I was hoping for like plasma or something like that, but it didn't happen. Um, do I have enough for a new hand uh, thermal vac? Uh, no. Wow, I am way lower on thermal sap crystals than I thought. This is why, like, for your entertainment, I'm trying to, like, push things ahead rather quickly. But it would have been better for me to more carefully analyze my resource shortages. Uh, because, obviously, I'm going to want another thermal bank. So I'm going to recycle this one because it's almost damaged or almost broken. And it did give me two thermal sap crystals back, which then I can use to make a new one. All right, research for the car. Got it. We got a new decal kit for a mural of the Pacific Northwest and new color of paint, orange. So this is future stylings. Which is a uh, hood ornament. I would rather have the pirate ship though. Definitely. Before I forget, Get that thermal vacuum. All right, car improvements. So we had mentioned maybe getting a battery in the seat. So I do have, uh, in the car, I do have one open seat slot. So... Uh, we could do fuel or battery, and I think battery is probably more bang from a buck. So I'm going to start working to get the lead acid battery, or even better, the high capacity battery if I'm able. That's a side battery. This is a seat battery. And then the high capacity is a better seat battery, like a bigger. So I think it's the difference of... Um, Uh, okay, I can. Right now I have 60 fabric. And it's 40 fabric for the large backpack. So I'm going to get the large backpack. Because that's going to be amazing. So as you can see, my backpack space is much better. Tons of room. Okay, high capacity battery. That's almost all the unstable energy that I have left. Uh, so I'm going to do one more research poll, just for one minute. 
while I get a high capacity battery installed in the car. If I have the materials for it. I don't. I need plasma. Uh, and a circuit. Well, the circuit board I can craft, but I need plasma. I can do a lead acid battery, so I'm just going to do it. Uh, it does take. Well, yeah, no, I'm going to do it anyway. So this will give me 30 extra power. The high capacity would have given me 50. Um, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. There we go. A second battery. Done. So this headlight is gone. It's worn out. Let's do a quick inspection. I know there's a lot of damage, but I'm not looking for the damage at the moment. I'm looking for worn out parts that need replacing. And... Auto Parker's fine. Okay, yeah, it was just the headlight. So maybe a garage improvement. So I don't have the resources for much. I could get the rapid refill pump, which leads to the experimental charging station or the fax machine. I think I'm gonna go with fax machine, oddly enough. The other ones up here are um, parts lockers and I don't have a lot of parts needing storage uh, or more pneumatic lockers, which one is honestly enough, so that's low priority. I don't have the plasma for the analysis module. I don't have corrupted energy for the junction bypass. And I don't have limb magnets for the advanced antenna. Um, I do actually have the expanded matter generator. Regenerator. Uh... Yeah, let's do it. So this allows you to regenerate even more stuff here. I don't, I haven't really been needing to repair my car parts this way, but it also leads to better research. So there's a lot more capacity now in this, um, in the regenerating speaker system than before. Um, and the reason I got that is that research leads to a recharge station, or repair station, which, um, gives you a, uh, it doesn't fully repair your car unless you change your, uh, game settings, but it will, um, repair your car a little bit every time you get home, which is kind of nice. Uh, and then I'll get the fax machine. It'll be nice to actually put my, um, my faxes and the like, or my data, uh, somewhere. So for that, I need a circuit board. And then once I get this fax machine, I'll take a look to see what um, remaining research I can get. Loading up all the information in there. It's just a, uh, it's, it doesn't change anything. It doesn't like add anything to your game or anything. It's just a storage spot, much like how the paint rack is a storage spot for your paints and decals. So it's not, uh, it, it doesn't do anything more than that. It also gives, uh, leads to the basketball hoop and then a, Deco vend and a fish tank, which are mostly aesthetics. The um, the deco vend allows you to like make uh, stuff with uh, unstable anchor energy, um, decals and the like. So the remaining research, we have got uh, basketball hoop, liberator, some headlights, 
some doors and bumpers and panels, some tires, a side fuel tank, and some power gen stuff. A lot of this, um, yeah, the power gen. So there's really not research that I think is um, mission critical, so I'm not going to bother with it. So instead, uh, what run? So I had identified that uh, we are very low on thermal sap crystals, so I could make a run for thermal saps. Uh, I'm low on fabric. And rubber. Swamp coral, fabric, rubber, thermal saps. Uh, we could also, you know, push the storyline ahead. Let's repair the car. Poor car almost ran out of gas on that last run. Evaporative fuels can be brutal if you spend a long time in a zone. We need some electronic repair kits too. I have not forgotten about that. So we only have one of those. And then... Also, one more battery jumper. Cool. No. Tools are all set. Did I end up getting plasma scrapper? I did. Uh, let's make one. I don't have a lot of plasma, but I had just enough plasma to get a plasma scrapper. Uh, for better or for worse. Throwing the old one out. Don't worry, I shredded the non-plasma one. If you had, like, a heart attack there. I did it right. I did it right. Uh, I'm gonna move my extra maintenance and consumables to a closer locker to the car. Just this one. Just be a little easier for me to manage, I think. And then let's repair. Doesn't need to be perfect. I just don't want parts falling off on a ride. Alright. Game says it's like 100%. These turbines. Uh, maybe I'll repair those too. Tires look good. God, I have so much extra putty. I keep finding it, I think, at the dumpster. The so car is pretty all squared. I haven't checked for, um, quirks, however. Game does not say that I have an unknown quirk. I wonder what happens if I, like, just regularly investigate. Okay, I spend the, uh, the stable energy and it doesn't find anything. I'm surprised I had to spend energy for that, to be honest. But alright, alright. Satisfied my curiosity. And you guys want me to... it looks like... One more vote for... God, so much repair, three repair buddy? Dumpster. Oh, is it my birthday or something? Dear Lord, man. Keep some putty for yourself. Looks like you guys are leaving it up to me. You also gave me, uh, the dumpster gave me a, a medic kit too. So, one extra vote leaving it up to me. Oh, two extra votes leaving it up to me. I am going to make my way to Dr. K's lab. Hey, 
head to Kay's lab. Uh, the reason being, a lot of the research that we have left to do um, is starting to require uh, unstable or corrupted energy. So it would be good for us to, you know, start to get access to that. So Kay's lab is up here. Uh, or at least the, the quest marker is. And it looks... So this junction here is going to have a lot of plasma. And I had mentioned that I wanted plasma. So going E5 to E2 to the to here could be a good run. So there's spark surges here for spark towers for plasma. Uh, I'll probably re-roll this zone so that we can get some needed resources potentially here. And then we'll be at Kay's lab. And there is an anomaly at Kay's lab that is unknown to us. Right, E2 is now just Warren's without the dis uh, disruptive discharge. Uh, I'm okay with Warren's. I don't love Bolt Bunnies. What is it? Bolt Bunnies. Ah, oh, Bolt Bunnies are fine. There's no hairs. Alright, yeah, that'll work. I have an extra, um... I have an extra charge, so it's possible that we swing by C2 here. And make it a four junction run, because C2 also has uh, these two modifiers unknown, and it also has happy hairs, which happy hairs are kind of nice. Um, it also has sap compressors. Although, you know what? It's, uh... Its resource density is not amazing. And it has fuel evaporation, so I'm going to re-roll this one as well. Which is risky, because it's very likely going to get worse. Oh, nice! It got a lot better. The resource density now is high. I'm going to be able to get sap crystals like crazy. Uh, it has sick, mixy, uh, sick mickeys and cough boxes. Abductors and bubblegum bunnies. Okay. Yeah, that, that turned out way, way, way better. It's going to have a lot of bubblegums that are going to be annoying, but uh, there's our run. So it's it's a kind of a hybrid of the K's lab plus a lot of resources. So it's, it's definitely one of the longer runs that we're going to be making. Uh, but it has the potentiality of uh, yielding a whole lot, too. So that's good. We're all charged up and ready to go. I have a spare tire, right? Yeah. On longer runs, you definitely want, like, spare par- or spare tire at the very least. Uh. Because of the, um, you know, the, you put a lot of wear and tear on your tires when you go on a long run. And the tires I currently have on have probably seen a lot of miles. Uh. But no. Game says they're all fine. Oh, you know, I didn't get my free electronics. It's funny, I don't find that, like, I'm constantly in high need of electronics, but the... Oh, it's a squire out here. I'm glad I checked. The vehicle parked out here will be, like, replaced every time. As will the computer and the uh, radio. Which... Is a cool feature, but I, I, from a canon standpoint, I don't really understand. Because, um, because Oppie's garage is supposed to be in a stable point. So the fact that these things are refreshing, uh, doesn't make a lot of story sense to me. Because things only refresh because of the instability zones, but, you know, whatever. But just, we'll forgive it. Lemon and I love trees. Thank you for the um the subs. Cheers. It could be Oppie being at the garage while I'm away. Uh no, that's not definitely not the case. She doesn't have a means of transportation. I am as far as the story is concerned, I have like the only working car in the zone. Um, or at least that's what they say. Like carbureted engines or just don't exist in the zone anymore. And also she lives in a spot surrounded by instability so there's no like coming or going 
Thank you for tuning in to Pacific Drive, which originally streamed live on Twitch April 9th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. And if you would like to join my online gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow breachers.